Some time ago, I was told that Mobile One Synthetic 15W50 oil would flow better than 15W40 conventional oil, even in the cold. When reading an oil's weight, the first number is the ability to flow when cold, and the second number is the resistance to breakdown when hot. So a 15W40 would flow like a 15 weight when it's cold, but thin out like a 40 weight when it's hot. The idea is that the Mobile One 15W50 being synthetic would have better flow characteristics than the 15W40 conventional oil would. This had always seemed reasonable to me and I'd never really questioned it, but recently a friend asked me about it and I figured it was time for an experiment. I bought some 1 inch pipe caps and I filled each one of them with a sample of oil. We've got 15W40 conventional oil, 10W40 conventional, 15W50 mobile one synthetic, and the 5W40 synthetic that I use in my car. To test the oil flow, I dipped a matchstick in each sample and let the oil drip off. Initially, I thought I would wait for two drops of oil to come off the match, but later it seemed like three was a better test number. Then I put them in the freezer for an hour. After an hour in the freezer, the temperature was a balmy minus 10 Fahrenheit. As I had predicted, the 15W40 conventional is pretty much like honey. I was initially surprised by how thin the 10W40 was, and of course the 5W40 is the thinnest of the bunch. Let's have a closer look at the 1540 versus the 1550. I've slowed this down so we can see it better. Notice how the 1550 sample drips first. The second drip is also quicker, and I'm not sure that the 1540 is ever going to let that third drop go. Comparing the 10W40 to the 5W40 is similar, but of course in this case you'd expect the 540 to be thinner. Here's the part I thought was interesting. See how the 10W40 stays as a strand way longer than the 5W40 does. That's oil refusing to be forced through passages to get to bearings during a cold start. So what did I learn from all this? I learned that my initial assumption about the 15W50 was correct. It's thinner when cold and that would help to ensure oil was where you needed it to be during a cold start. I also learned that conventional 10W40 was a lot thinner than I expected it to be. For most people, synthetic oil probably isn't a big deal, but if you've got a diesel you probably already know that starting when it's really cold out can be a challenge and synthetic oil can be a big help. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.